Yeah, good evening. It's Jim from jagfx.com. It is Wednesday, the 9th of October, 2019. This is just my weekly video where I go over all of the pairs I'm looking at, trading both the high probability and the mod MACD methods on the daily charts. So we're looking at about 28 pairs of currencies and two metals, gold and silver against US dollar. Uh, I am one day late. Um, yes, I nearly wiped myself out on my body surfing, concussed myself, so <laughs> I wasn't up for making a video yesterday, so I apologise for that. So first up, as we normally do, we'll have a look at the, we've got the Facebook group, the JagFX Forex Trading Made Easy, you can see it here, it's a private group. Um, what I suggest you do, anyone that's joined this group is read Christina top announcement it's a pin announcement it tells you where everything is here basically so in a nutshell just go to the files in there shows you where multiple um, trade results multiple trade spreadsheets trade screenshots exactly all the shared folders um, indicators FAQs etc so it's all in there if you're looking for that now, as you know, I call trades in both the Facebook group every day and also the Telegram group. And I share these results in this spreadsheet if it comes up. So HP and Mod MACD combined, that's the one first one on the left here. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. You just follow the instructions here. Um, why are we crossed there? Hang on a sec. There we go. So there's all the trades, numbers, the date, time, high probability or mod MACD, just the trade number if I'm hedging, buy or sell, size, pair, price. If the red MA, if it's in this bottom here, if it's red, it's risk trade, normally against the MA is against the trend. Uh, my stop levels are in here and exits along here. There's a small swap, which is overnight interest and profit loss. If you see it all in blue like this, it means it's been a profitable trade, even though that one's not a great example. If it's in red like that, it means it's been a loss overall. If you see yellow like this, it means it's been a partial close and I'm waiting for further action. So that's the shared spreadsheet. We go across to HP and MM results, just a bit of a guide really, just shows you all the pairs I'm trading. The pips to date since I think 26 of the six so 26th of june 2019 overall pips and overall profit loss in dollars all based on a 0.02 um, lot trades the last three weeks been sort of going sideways really not getting any traction in um, profit you can see my pairs which pairs cause me the grief most of them are pound pairs which is just brexit i guess and CAD, Swiss, and Swiss franc, Japanese yen over here, and gold. So mainly the pound pairs though cause me the grief, others are going all right. This is just to give me an idea of which pairs are going well. It's not, I'm not sure how accurate the pip count is, but it's, it's closest, I'm trying to update it every day. So hopefully it's sweet. So let's have a look, we'll go across the charts. So here's my profile, as you can see, at the moment, these are all the pairs. I'm trying to keep them in sort of some alphabetical order. The only pair at the moment I haven't got any trades on is the New Zealand Swiss franc. You can see it's indented a little bit. So we'll start off with my first pair. Hopefully this is gonna work, here we go. So I'll just run through each pair to show you where we're at. And we'll um, have a quick look at the news after I've done that. So it's the pound yen, and like all my charts you will see where any sell trades marked by a red vertical line and a red horizontal line, um, buy trades will be blue. So you, on the intersection is where I entered the sell. You can slow down the video, pause the video, and you can read MM, stands for Mod MACD, so that's this bottom part here, and the high probability is the main part. So it's the Mod MACD and the high probability if you see a grey vertical line like that, it's just giving me a heads up that something else is happening. I'm not sure why I've got a grey line there because it's now in sell mode again. So it's the pound yen, you've got a mod MACD sell, there's my price, uh, pips the date down there, um, 
you can see my notes and I'll start drawing possible divergence lines. So if you see green trend lines, that normally means looking for bullish type divergence. Has to be confirmed though. I'm just drawing them. I draw them every day. I adjust them just to give me a heads up. So pound yen, we're in a sell. We're just below the entry price, so all good. USD, Canadian dollar. It's going to be one of those nights where I'm going to have to, here we go. This is going nowhere fast. I took a buy, mod MACD buy at this level. And look at this, one, two, three, four, we're on a fifth day and it's just gone. <laughs> I'm at my point of entry just about, going nowhere. So that's the USD CAD. Again, you can see it's blue, so it's a buy. Started drawing my trend lines in, red ones, looking for bearish divergence. Still has to be confirmed. OzCAD. Now, here's a bit more action here. So you can read my notes. We've got a HP cell, and we've got a stop and place down here. You can, that's normally these are in chronological order or close to it. And we've had a mod MACD cell, the second red line, which is in this level here. And we've had a high probability buy from here. You can see my divergence notes here. There has been divergence. Start off with bearish, followed by bullish. Pips to date, you can read it all. If you see red dotted line, that is a stop. And if you see yellow dashed line, that's normally some sort of break even level. So here, we've got overall break even at up here at zero at zero point nine zero four double eight and if it's negative 0 0.01 overall so as long as price is below that yellow dashed line on an overall break even um, and it's a negative then that means we're overall profitable on that pair so i'm looking at the big picture remember you can see the trend setting down i'm happy to take trades against the trend as long as i've got something coming the other way where i've got some good divergence Euro New Zealand, let's have a look here if it ever cranks over. This is going to be one of those nights, I can tell. So we're in a Mod MACD buy, there's it up here, that's the blue line, and we're in a uh, high probability sell, which is the red line, and look at this, just gone up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Euro New Zealand, so at the moment overall hedged and probably locking in a small profit other than the overnight interest or swap. Um, you can see my notes, sometimes I make notes about, like if you see a blue trend line like that, it normally means that it's something I'm looking at, it's got my attention. In this case, it's, you could probably say triple top or a, a strong um, point of resistance, resistance level. You can see my notes here. So we're hedged, locked in, we're doing some good pips here at the moment. Tomorrow there's a strong chance that this may reverse on the mod MACD to a sell, but we need them. Meet, it has to meet all the criteria. We'll see how it goes. All right, CAD Swiss. Got a few trades going on here also. Uh, got a HP sell followed by a HP hedge buy, which would be this blue one, followed by a second sell six. So this will give us two break even levels because I've got a mod MACD sell. Overall break even, you can see I'm at minus 0.08. And that's that level there, 0 0.74490. And I've also got the HP, the high probability only, break even 74405. So that's why I've got two yellow lines. And the HP break even is actually this bottom one. So I really need price to keep on going down. And see if we, at the moment we're just above, oh, we're in no man's, like a lot of the pairs at the moment, going nowhere fast. New Zealand CAD's another messy one. You can stop, pause the video, read all my notes. It's got plenty of trades on. Here's my break even levels. These yellow, two yellow lines. There's an overall break even and a HP sequence break even. At the moment, right between the two of them, really need to get this thing a wiggle on to the upside. You can read my notes. Lots of trades on there. Got stops in place from old sell trades and yeah. Bit messy, but we're close to overall break even so it's, even though it looks like there's a lot happening we're in a pretty safe zone at the moment oz yen uh, overall we've got a few trades on again you can read my notes um, overall break even minus 0 
and that's that yellow line up there. So as long as price is below that, we're in the money in this sequence. I've closed all three trades now. We'd be in profit, so no dramas there. But I'd rather work each trade individually. Yeah. So it's going all right. That's the Aussie Yen, Euro CAD, uh, two trades, HP buy and MMM buy. Overall break even with plus 0.04. It's, it's hard to tell because both the buys are just about the same levels, which means the overall break even is smack bang between the middle of them which in this case is at the, just about on the point of entry for both trades, price above, so we're looking all right. High risk trading, as you can see. Uh, we really need, need this to push up and we'll make some money there. So it's all good. New Zealand, USD, in a bit of a mixed bag here. Um, overall break even, we're minus 0 0.02. There's a break even level all the way up there, which is great. Price is well below it. Got a couple of cells, I think, happening here. Um, what else we got? Yeah, sell up there, stop and place. And then we start a new sequence, and it's. I think we've taken another cell. Yeah, we've got two. We've got two HP cells, both of the stop in this level. Then we got a mod MACD cell. Uh, I haven't taken anything from that. Then we took a buy because I could, even though it's against the trend. So it's all looking pretty. Looks like there's a lot happening, but. There's an overall break even, and we're negative, and price is down here, so it's good. Oz Swiss, not so good. We're in a few trades and a little clump here. Let's see if I might just make this a little bit bigger. So, uh, nothing. Sell, oh, MMM, that's a mod MACD sell back here. We're still, this is a fast MACD. So there's the entry, and we're still below the zero level, so even though it's not exactly setting the world on fire because we're just by the point of entry. A lot of these pairs have gone sideways. So then I took a HP buy in here, followed by um, HP hedge sell, which is this one, then a second buy, which is that one. Really need to get up higher to, yeah, you know, we're negative, oh, we're positive on our overall break even. And there's our HP break even and our overall break even. So we really need price to push up. At the moment, we're in the hole. Euro Swiss. A couple of buys, HP and an MM buy. You can see it down here, you can see it there. You got the divergence, good support level. You can see my notes. Uh, overall break even, we're plus 0.04. So I need to be above that yellow dotted line. We're close, so it's not the end of the world. We're going in against the trend, but I like this support level here, so it's not looking too bad. And there's, should I call it regular bullish divergence? Or should we probably, that is hidden bullish divergence. I should change that to hidden bullish divergence. All right, Swiss Yen, uh, what are we doing here? We're plus one overall. So there's our overall break even down here, this yellow dashed line, so we're above that, which is good. Uh, Took a sell initially, I closed half, you can read my notes, moved the stop down, actually moved the stop down this morning. So that's my stop level there. And took a buy this morning and it's just above the entry level too. So we just there's no mod MACD on this pair. It's just it's, it's hard to trade. I'm quite comfortable trading this just with a high probability method. Got a few pips to make up, but we'll get there. Euro yen is the next cab off the rank. Uh, I'm in a couple of cells back here, possibly setting up for a buy. Already closed half on the HP. Overall break evens in this little area here. It's all a bit tight. We're down overall minus 0 0.03 and price is below the yellow dotted line, uh, dash line at the moment. So we're just in the money. Made a few pips. I think this is going to reverse to the upside. I'll probably might remiss of me not drawing in possible um, divergence setups here we just obviously need com confirmation that they're bullish so or we'll change them to green and things are going slow at the moment as usual when I do a video I'm running a couple of EA back tests so probably slowing me down so, so there's your price possibly and there's your MACD platform. 
they, I've already drawn a grey line in here. The grey line means there's a, something happening, which would mean in this case a blue dot on the MACD platform below the zero level, or green dot, whichever way you look at it. So we've got lower lows on the MACD platinum and possibly higher lows on the price. So potential, need confirmation, need the QMP, green QMP dot for confirmation, then I'll be happy to take the buy then. So that's the Euro Yen, let's just flick across further. Here we go. USD, Japanese yen, hopefully. Or I might have to pause. Here we go. All right, what I do here, took a mod MACD cell in here. That's all I'm in. It's gone down and it's come up. It's gone down and it's just above the entry level, going nowhere fast. Again, possible um, hidden bullish divergence forming. But it's got to be confirmed. Now the Euro USD, one pair that you know that has been causing me grief in way too many trades here, way too many trades. So I've got to start looking to work my way out. You can pause the video and have a look and read through all this. But uh, overall break even, I don't think that's right. <laughs> I don't think that's right. Minus 0 0.02. I'm gonna have to check that. So. I'm thinking it should be positive, 0.02. So I'll check that. I'm in a bit of trouble here. I've thinked on the euro and I'm looking to work my way out. At the moment, you can see we've got possible, what well, we have got, uh, no, we haven't, we need that possible regular bullish divergence forming. Just need a bloody green dot under E somewhere on that QMP, which we haven't got yet, which is surprisingly because price did go up, might get it tomorrow. If that's the case, take another buy and try and work our way up there. But I think that overall break even is wrong. I'll make a note of that and I'll check that tomorrow because something doesn't look right there. There's too many trades on for my liking, but it's not the end of the world. I can work my way out. Euro's not moving that quick these days, so unless something drastic happens, it should be fine. So let's move to Aussie New Zealand dollar. Aussie New Zealand, if it ever comes up. Here we go. Uh, in a mod MACD cell back here, a few days going sideways, starting to go down a little bit now. Uh, Grey vertical line drawn, potential uh, hidden bullish divergence forming has to be confirmed. It's still far off from being confirmed at this stage. These are a little bit ugly, these type of divergences, but they still work. Price is coming back to MA, so might see a bounce there and the Aussie head up. Remember, below the MACD Platinum, looking for buys. Pound Aussie. Now we get into the pound pairs. As you can see, I'm in lots of cells, including a mod MACD cell today. So sell, sell, sell. So you can see three cells there. Close to the overall break even. Down a few pips on this pair. I don't know why I didn't take the hedges. Probably be a lot smarter thing to do. Um, so I've elected to just take all the sell trades and if we get down that overall break even I might just try and close out and start afresh because it's it's a little bit ugly it's too much risk on really as you can see I'm minus 0 0.20 negative so price really has to get below these yellow lines so it's a pound Aussie euro pound maybe looking a little bit better uh, in a couple of buys, you can read my notes, HP, buy, uh, HP high probability buy, which already closed half for a stop place. Took a mod MACD buy, had to wait for a while to meet all the criteria. Uh, with plus 0 0.03, there's my overall break even at the yellow, so it priced above that, so looking good. Made a few pips. So what we sort of losing on the pound Aussie, we make up in some other pairs. So remember, we look at the big picture over all the pairs. Euro Aussie in a mod MACD buy back here about three or four days ago and it's going nowhere fast it's just a bit sideways you can see we're right on the point of entry at the moment got a few pips to bank overall break even is at the point of entry poe point of entry and plus just the one trade plus point 
uh, 0 0.02 up. So, Right, switch across to Aussie USD, maybe. Yeah, got to go up to pause this video until the Aussie comes up. Oh, looks, yeah, here it comes. All right, Aussie, we're in a couple of few trades here. Overall break even, we're minus 0.01 overall, so price is well below that. That's the overall break even up here, which is great. So I took a sell, Mod MACD sell, stop and place for the HP sell, the first one, then taking a second HP. Got a nice base along here. You can see uh, big support level, uh, hidden bearish divergence. Cause so it's all combined. Oh, sorry. Uh, hidden bearish divergence. That was this one coming down here initially. Now big support level. And you could probably call that hidden uh, bullish divergence. Or, yeah. It's a, it's a trip. I call that a triple bottom or support level. So we're looking good at the moment even if price keeps on rolling down this side i'm minus one down so it's good it can go to the go to zero for a lucky i'll make plenty pound cad another pound problem got a few too many trades on here and i took a it's not you know uh, don't know what i did here i'm down a few pips and hp break even is at 167 so it's up here and so i took a sell hedge buy second sell and a second buy it's sort of reverse so we're looking to go at the buy side and prices roll over and i've taken a mod macd sell so it's looking a bit ugly really need this thing to head up hard with brexit though hard with brexit so it's causing me a bit of grief but we'll just see how we can we'll, we'll work something out we could always work out of a position might take a while but in the meantime other pairs should make me some money that's the plan anyway so we'll switch Cross to the CAD yen, maybe. Oh, pause this. So we're looking at CAD Japanese yen. Uh, what have we got here? We're in a few trades HP sell, HP buy, second sell, and a mod MAC deal. It's the same as that second sell. So that's why you only see like three vertical lines there the mod MAC D second sell. Uh, Mod MACD sell and the HP second sell are on the same candle. Uh, we're plus, oh sorry, minus 0 0.08 overall. And we've got a couple of yellow lines here. Price is just above it at the moment. So I really need price to roll over a little bit and go down. Um, yeah, it's a bit of an ugly pair to trade, but not too bad at the moment. Move across to the pound Swiss. Uh, this is one ugly pair, this one. So we're, um, we took a HP sell, we took a hedge buy, we took a second buy I don't know, in here. Then a HP sell. That would be there. And a mod MACD sell. So we're, we're down minus 0 0.02. Uh, HP trades are hedged. Overall break even for the um, is a long way down for the all the pairs. So the good thing is with this, we're hedged on the HP. Overall, is so if price rolls, say Brexit falls in a big heap and the pound tanks, this thing falls, goes down there. The worst thing that can happen: overall break even, or even a minor small profit. Now, if it rolls, keeps on rolling over, then turns up and goes up, not only will I get a new buy signal because the MACD platinum's below the zero level, there's a good chance that the mod, uh, fast MACD will also go above the zero level and I'll get out of this um, mod MACD sell and go to a buy and I'll get a bigger position, uh, 0 0.10 buy, and price would go up then. So if it goes either way, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I just don't. I don't like being in so many trades and it's sort of taking up margin and stuff like that. So it's not ideal. But in the meantime, we got other pairs like the New Zealand Swiss. Now, I closed all my trades on this today. I've got rid of the mod, the fast MACD or the mod MACD part of the... It's another pair that I can quite happily trade just using the high probability method. Got a big base at the moment. Uh, going, there's a downtrend. So I did take a, a 
think I closed a buy. We're up a few pips, but it's it's in no man's land at the moment. So I'll just wait on this patiently. So it's New Zealand Swiss. So, uh, <laughs> USD Swiss or the Swiss franc uh, and a mod MACD buy or closed half. This is a tough one to trade at the moment. We're down a few pips. This blue dashed line, you can see is parity 1.0000. So once US dollar equals one Swiss franc. It's a big number in this pair. You can see price sort of stalls around it a few times. So it's just a matter of waiting at the moment. I'm actually up in this trade. <laughs> I entered in here, it's went up, hit parity, come down, come to my entry level, now bouncing up again. Who knows? But at the moment, we just got to be patient. Pound New Zealand. In quite a few trades here. Uh, overall break even, we're at it at the moment, which is good. I was hoping for a bit of a push down today. Uh, there's the mod MACD still, even though it's below the, oh, sorry, the MACD platinum is below the zero level. There's no blue dotters yet. I was hoping that we push right down into the, like the 240 LMA sort of area. The MAs are all very tight, it's all very messy. So if I close all, the, all these trades now, we would probably come out slightly around about overall break even. So it's not the end of the world. I'd just like to see it give me a bit more if it could. That's just the way I'm thinking at the moment. Pound USD, another one that's sort of got lots of trades going on. Very messy. Pause the video, have a read. Here's my overall break even levels. We're down minus 0.18. So price is heading in the right direction at the moment. Same with the MACD Platinum, even though it's below the zero level. It's heading down. Mod MACD is heading down. We've got a few pips in the bank. Be nice to see this go right down and just through my uh, break even levels and we can take it from there. Too many trades on for my liking though. New Zealand Japanese Yen, another one that's sort of come down. We're in a few good trades, made a few pips, over a thousand pips on this pair. Uh, getting a bit messy. I didn't take this buy. The MACD Platinum's right on the zero level there. So we're in a HP cell with a stop in place and we've got a mod MACD cell. Overall break even this yellow dash line. Price is just below at the moment. So it's not the end of the world. Looking all right, we're negative, so it's all good. Now to the problem metals, which have caused me some grief. You can stop, pause the video. We're in a HP buy, then a HP hedge cell, HP second buy, which is today, I think, yep. Well, not today, a couple of days ago. And HP, uh, and Mod MACD cell. Uh, overall, you can see I'm positive 0 0.04, so it's up here. And my HP break even is at this bottom yellow dash line. So it hasn't got much to go up. It's hard, tough telling which way gold's going because it's so, um, so um, correlated with the US stock market. The US stock market's got no idea where it's going at the moment, but. The, the uh, MACD Platinum says we should be buying, so it's a good thing, I guess. It looks like I might get a reversal tomorrow on the Mod MACD anyway, so I have got a few pips to make up. And probably can be said the same for silver. You can read my notes. Buy, sell, buy. Yeah, it just gets ugly. Uh, probably get rid of that grey line there. It's no, no longer valid. And a Mod MACD sell. Yeah, not exactly setting the world on fire. Down, up a few pips overall, but it's got to push up, push up through these yellow lines. We're positive, as you can see. So that's about it on the charts. Um, I was going to show you the news. I don't think there's much in the news. Let's go to find the spreadsheet. All right, it's Forex Factory News. It's Wednesday. We're getting, well, we've just gone through. So we'll just refresh that. The last one was at 10 p.m., which is 14 minutes ago. My, this is all in local time. So that was um, Fed Chair Powell speaks. So it's gone. So this might be a little at 1 a.m., which is in about three hours or so, less than three hours. The FOMC meeting minutes, which could be a market mover. It's a high impact red. And we've got GDP at the UK, manufacturing. Carney, which is the Bank of England um, governor, speaks tomorrow. 
uh, ECB, Monetary Policy, Meeting Accounts, CPI out of the US, all picks up later in the week as usual. And um, Friday, not sure what those are, some Euro meetings. And Canada, and Canada, we've got employment numbers, which could be a mover on the Canadian pairs. And that's about it for the week. So a very quiet start of the week, but starting to pick up now. And that 1am could be interesting, the FOMC meeting minutes could affect the US dollar. So it's just four factory, it's all my local time. It's, uh, it's 10.15 at the moment, so that's 1am. So you can see where it's at. All right, that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching the video and um, also I'd like to thank everyone that's joined the Facebook group or the Telegram group recently. It's been quite a few. Always appreciated. Uh, I did send an email out early in the week, or well, Christina sent one out with regards to updating the MT5 QMP filter on MACD Platinum. So hopefully everyone got that sorted. That um, QMP filter on the MT5 platform is not ideal, but it's the best we, our, my programmers, I've tried two of them, can get it. So you may have to fiddle around a bit with it at times by going between the different time frames, but, and I do apologise, but it's just something to do with the way that the price feeds into MT5. Um, thanks for watching the video, as I said. If you do like the video, please um, hit the subscribe button or the like button at least, and hopefully that hasn't I haven't bored you too much. And again, thanks for watching, and thanks for being a part of the Jag FX family. Much appreciated.